Hi, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Welcome. Bringing you messages for the collective for, I think they'll post December 10th, 11th. So whenever you come upon them is fine. Um, this is not date specific. But if the message, if you're responding to the title, there may be a message here for you. If not, that's all right. It won't resonate with everybody. Um, go ahead and check out the videos in the series that represent your other personal planets. That always helps. That's the first place to go look or just surf the playlists and see if anything speaks to you. Uh, I did want to make a note that um, for the 1212 portal way that coincides with the full moon in Gemini, that will be a date specific reading. I'm going to shift into all zodiacs. So I'm going to do um, a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius, and all the other signs of the zodiac. So I'll be rolling that out this week, uh, probably three or four at a time, culminating on 1212. So you can look forward to that. I've never done it before here on the channel. I mean, I've done it in real life, but not on the channel. So you'll have to let me know if you found it helpful. Um, I'm mainly doing it because there's been, there have been some pretty consistent storylines coming through and I kind of feel that this might be a way for me to break up those energies and um, maybe even more clearly target who the storylines have been for. It's just been a lot of repeating themes. That can also be because we're at the end of a, a year and we're heading into not just a new year, but a new decade. And so there's been a lot of offloading of karma and other energies and storylines that have been really prominent, you know, Keep coming forward as a way to say gotta clear it gotta clear it gotta clear it so we're gonna clear it okay so if you're new here to the channel i'll walk you through it and for those of you who um, have been along for the ride thank you so much and i appreciate all the likes and comments and subscribes so please do that if you haven't already i'm pulling two cards from this um wisdom of the oracle one for your divine counterpart here and now in reversed and one for you yin in reversed so you've been pretty receptive here air sign it's time for you to possibly step into some action they have here and now card 32 3 and 2 is 5 it's about change so let me see what their message is <clears throat> what did I say 32 right okay so their protection message for the here and now. Whenever you find your mind drifting into the past, wondering if things could have or should have been better, or whenever you find yourself longing for the good old days, you leak power. The same is true for looking too far ahead and hoping the future will provide you with certainty. Driven by ambition, you might wander too long in a place with no substance and forget that you are here today. The past and future are illusions. Whenever you leave the present moment, you're disconnecting from your inher inherent power to manifest your reality with true substance. Neither past nor future can give you what you need. Now is all that counts. Come back from those eternities and be here now. All will be well and miracles will appear as if by magic in the perfect timing of spirit. So whoever you're dealing with here, air sign, and of course, if you feel like the messages are reversed, own whichever message belongs to you. <clears throat> this is about being in the present and not drifting into the past or getting lost in future potentialities. Everything that you need is everything this person needs to know is happening right here and here and now. You get the yin card in reverse. That's card number two. Let's see, where is card number two? And it was in reverse, so protection. But look how beautiful this card is, air sign. Do you have trouble receiving? <laughs> oh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, busted. You stop the flow of abundance when you continually insist upon being the giver. You can't always lead, always give, always teach. You must be the student, the open vessel, and the one who receives the gift gesture or offer in equal measure open up and let love life abundance and spirit fill you without demand or expectation just receive the bounty that is yours <laughs> okay i can stop the video right here right now that tells you everything you need to know and past storylines being considered 
for, for all air signs. You've done more than your fair share of giving in terms of your tolerance, your patience, your perseverance through some really challenging relationship issues. That's what I read about. So those are the pr uh, prominent energies that come forward. And boy, this is good for you. Time to receive. I'm feeling called to do a little more shuffle. One more. And now, page of wands. A little message of passion there. Okay, if you're new to the channel, this top row, my intention is that it represents the energies of the other person. But you feel free to flip the characters around. If you're a cross watcher, this may be you. Second row is designed to be the air sign. Okay, that's that's my that's my intention. But again, feel free to flip it around. And this third row represents the connection. Look at that fool in the past taking that leap of faith. Ugh, temperance, balancing the energies. And then Knight of Pentacles moving forward deliberately and with um, with intention, uh, not being in a rush, maybe going more slowly than you're used to, air sign, because you all are so quick. Now this could be you up here. I'm just gonna read read it as if I as if I had it right to begin with, but High Priestess shows up in the past for this person. This is Pisces energy. And that means that they're, you know, they, they've they been, prob there's probably been no, communi no communication between the two of you instigated by them, but they're at, they're at a higher, this is intuition. They're going, in the past, they've been going by intuition, waiting for the opportunity to move to calmer waters, and now they are. So this is air sign, this is air sign. So you may be here in this top row, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or you may be dealing with another air sign. And then the future... Yeah, they're moving to calmer waters, but then they come to a crossroads. A choice has to be made. There's some indecision. They're not sure how they want to proceed. Then we come to you, to your row here, Air Sign, where in the past, it's like you're coming in with this energy of independence. This is the Nine of Pentacles. It's a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, emphasis on the Virgo. Very much a self-made person, independent, single um able to manifest what she needs an attractor things just she just sets her mind to something and she attracts it to her i say she because it's a woman in the picture and now you now you're being moved now your present energy is eight of wands this is like passion energy flying everywhere it's also can be a travel card it can um so you may be m traveling toward your person whoever this is or just in um, high communication, passionate communication. Lots of, this could be Cupid's arrows, lots of passionate messages going back and forth between the two of you. And I think so, because down here I see this temperance energy and um, temperance being Sagittarius, which is Jupiter, it's expansion and it's also fire. So even though it's about balancing the energies, um, usually between earth and water, I feel like there's some like she's got fire in one cup and water in the other and she's just pouring 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 and i get that fire and water here you may be dealing with a fire sign and then you're shifting when they're moving into this indecision not knowing their next you know like what uh, what they're not being able to reconcile in their head the best decision to make you're like I, you're off to the races knight of swords here you are in action mode gemini libra aquarius full steam ahead truth honesty clarity insight wisdom and in the connection boom dead stop and dead <laughs> knight of pentacles so forward motion albeit very slow deliberate methodical So a little bit of competing energies here, which is why I feel this temperance is so necessary. 
because maybe what's happening is you kind of go hot and heavy like you just kind of go over the edge into passion mode you're moving at the speed of light they're happy to be moving to calmer waters but they're like whoa hold up hold up i'm at a crossroads here i need to make a decision but it's not things aren't clear to me and if i recall in a past storyline this would be a new connection. I'm not so, so sure that that's the same storyline I'm reading today. Today, I feel like this is two people who have been through some stuff together. And uh, your, your energy is just off a bit, and that's why you're hitting this balance. Although we do have the Fool, which is new beginnings and taking a leap of faith and something brand new, um, I almost feel like this is speaking to a connection that has already been in existence something kicks up there's a new message of passion in this page of wands that's underlying the whole thing it kicks up you're moving into high voltage energy to calmer waters but with lots of passion this person is undecided as to what they want to do next but you're kind of like all systems go and in the connection you're just going to move the connection itself is going to move forward but a little bit slower because energies have to be tempered so i just wanted to get that out I do feel this is, this is um, some. This is a different storyline than the last reading. Okay, Page of Wands, Ace of Wands. Yes, a message of passion after a flash of 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 um, a flash of passion. So I go, this is divinely gifted passion, creativity, something brand new being born into your energy field and it's on top of this page of wands there is a small like the pages are um the ace is brand new the page is fresh start fresh start of a past energy of passion meets a brand new opportunity something divinely gifted to this connection High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Yeah, you were about to give up. Uh, or this person was about to give up. They went on a very solitary journey. The Hermit. This is Nine of Wands here. They went in. They, they, they shut down. Now, this could be you, Air Sign. So feel free to flip it around. But whoever this person is, and I say that because there's a lot of air energy there. Um... I know we have fire and water and earth here as well, but this energy of the high priestess is whoever this person is up here went silent. They were at the end of their rope, nine of wands, about to give up and instead opting to go on a solitary journey. So this person was really unto themselves, really seeking um, wisdom internal, like really communicating with their higher self while the high priestess is in search of connection with higher dimensions, the hermit is in connection with higher self. So you have both these energies in this person in the past. And all that comes in between those two energies is this, I'm, I'm not ready to give this up yet. Nine of wands. I'm, I'm, I'm almost at, I'm, I'm in completion mode. I'm completing a lesson, an important lesson but I'm not quite there yet. And then they're now, now they're moving to smoother waters. Six of swords. They can literally be traveling to, to you. High priestess again. Whoa, that's bizarre. A wheel of fortune. Oh, okay. So Moving to calmer waters, and um, because what comes next in their future is indecision or not, not knowing, not having enough information to make their decision. That's how that feels to me. So they come to a crossroads. But in the present energy, they are saying what I feel is happening with them is they're out of all this solitary inner journey that they didn't give up on. Now they're like, oh, okay, I get it now. I'm still high priestess mode, right? But 
destiny steps in. The wheel of fortune is, um, is going to help move them along. And they're allowing that. They're, they're high intuitive powers. This person is very spiritual. They're probably very gifted. If this is you, air sign, then you know that I'm talking, this is your storyline up here now. And then you'll, this future, there's, a, there's some uncertainty here. Why the two of swords in the future for this person? Because you're a little focused on the past. There was heartache here. This person's focused on the past and heartache. And I just said you, and maybe I said it on purpose. Maybe, maybe this is you up here, air sign. I'm going to allow for that shift right now in my energy because I just made that connection. I just made that connection. I think you're the one in indecision. This is a lot of air energy. You're leaving it to chance. Wheel of Fortune is um, Sagittarian energy. Priestess, that that uh, priestess is your emotional nature. Like you went a little bit more inside and connecting with your guides. And the indecision you're feeling that you, you feel like you don't have enough information because something happened in the past and somebody walked away from you. And I am making that shift right now. So this now is the other person. Hope you can bounce through that with me. That happens very rarely, but it does happen where I get a hit that something's really different. Yep, a lot. Page of Swords, a small message of clarity and truth, King of Cups, and the Moon. Yeah, I don't think you, I, if this is you now, I don't think you know who you're really dealing with. Um, this person is communicating a lot, a lot of words of passion. They may be watching you, a little I spy here maybe scoping you out on social media and they may be trying to present themselves as a king of cups, somebody who, you know, is emotionally available and, and um, honest and kind and giving of their heart, you know, generous of their heart and nature. Um, I think I already said emotionally available, but the moon comes out saying, yeah, things aren't as they seem. There's something secretive here or something you can't see or that can't be seen or that they're not showing. Or they may just have some fears. They, I, I don't want to sound so skeptical. This person is coming at you with a lot of words of passion, a lot of passionate energy. Um, they're watching you. They, they are, and let's just say that I want to be positive about it and say that they are completely emotionally available for you. And they may have some fear because they don't know where you stand. And that's very possible since you're shifting into two of swords energy. So I'm going to speak about it a little bit more optimistically instead of so negatively, because I feel like the energy here from the past, this was a single person doing their own thing, making their own way in the world. And they got called. Then they, then they got the call. Judgment. And once they got that call, which is the call for the connection, the call, uh, this can be reconciliation. This can be renewal. This is literally being, you know, if in the Bible, being called up from the dead. Second chances. This person recognized a second chance. Um, they, they don't have to go it alone in the world. They get a second chance. So maybe they are coming on a little hot and heavy. And there's a lot of passionate exchange between the two of you or at least coming at you from them. Um, and they're watching you. For, they're, they're, they're gauging you. for um, They're trying to get some information on you, I think. They're trying to get some information on you. And they're trying to let you know through all this communication that they're emotionally available and high vibration. And they got some, they are like nervous. There's a lot they can't see. A lot they don't know. Because you're being a little bit mysterious here, air sign. Now that I've flipped the energies around, that feels a lot better. 
Knight of Swords, though, they're going to move toward you. They are going to move toward you. Sword held high in the air. Victory card for them. <laughs> but they're going to start with a small little message of love. Yes, I'm getting on my horse and I'm, I'm going to speak my truth. I really like you. <laughs> and yes, because that's what they know they, they are moving toward. That Ace of Cups. They see the power of the potential of this connection. And they're going to start small. They're going to start small. They're going to come in fast, but with a small message of love because they know what's coming on the path for them. You, unfortunately, you will not know which way you want to go because you don't have enough information and you're a little bit focused on the past. Heartache from the past abandonment from the past rejection from the past something in the past that you lost that you are maybe a little bit overly focused on the connection in the past here's the full brand new beginning or a leap of faith after the end of a cycle yes remember this was in your reading before so maybe i am picking up on that past reading this is laying down a burden taking uh, this is in the past the recent past i feel i feel this is like a, a brand new start after the end of a painful cycle a very difficult challenging cycle and that's why you're being called to balance the energies now temperance and I was just telling Earth Sign, because Temperance came out twice in their reading, that Temperance is also, it's not just about balancing energies. It's about creating a perfect union, right? If we're cooking, we're, we're going to marry chocolate and milk and we're, and we're heating things up, right? You don't put cold milk on hot chocolate. What you get is a brick. You don't get that smooth batter. You don't put cold eggs into hot batter or you get scrambled egg cake. So, right, we're looking for the perfect union of marrying things together in a way that makes them um, blend beautifully. So I kind of feel that's the energy here in the present for this connection. Because this is your true north. This is a wish granted. This is a card of hope and faith and trust. And I feel like if you, if you are... If this is a perfect union being gifted to you, this is a perfect union being gifted. I just said it, said it twice, a perfect union being gifted. Wow. Knight of Pentacles, though, we're moving slow. That's okay. That's how you should want it, air sign, After, because clearly you went through something. Yes, there are a lot. This is emotional overwhelm. A lot of choices, a lot of options, and a choice has to be made. And I feel like you're not ready to make the choice because you don't feel you have enough information. You're a little bit stuck in the past here with some regret or some um, sadness. Mm. There's the Six of Swords. So we have the Five of Swords. Five of Swords is the victory card, but it's, vic it, well, it's one of the victory cards. The Six of Wands is the real victory card, but this is like victory at a cost. So you're, you know, you're going to move forward slowly and, and consider all your options. You have to make a choice. And this for, for the connection is about like, there's going, there's not just going to be, you're not going to be all winners. There's going to be winners and losers here in this, in this particular phase of your connection, but you come out on the other side and you move to smoother water. So I, uh, smoother water. So I kind of feel like you're the one that throws the monkey wrench into the works here, air sign. You're having trouble letting go of a past hurt or injustice or something that you're feeling a lot of regret about and it may be making you reluctant to make the choice you need need to make fate's trying to move you forward to smoother water but that boat won't go if you dig your heels in 
And that's what I feel. This is like this, uh, this energy is going to slow down because this person's moving fast. You're even moving fast. And then all of a sudden, boom, you hit the skids, you slow down, you weigh all the options. There may be some emotional overwhelm and you know, you and this person may um, not see things the same way. And so somebody's going to come out feeling Somebody is going to win the battle, but lose the war. And I think it's you. I think you're digging your heels in and you're going to be like, yeah, but yeah, but right. You're going to walk through the seven different ways to Sunday. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but. And they're going to be like, okay, you win. And then you're going to be like, yeah, but. Then it's not going to feel so good, air sign. And that's okay because it's part of your process. It's part of your process. It's where you are right now. And the end result is you still get to move on to calmer water. So I do feel like, you know, half of you is going by intuition. You're in this high priestess mode. You are giving over some of your energy and power to fate, letting destiny take the wheel. Um, but you're going to throw a monkey wrench into it in the future. And this person is going to patiently walk you through it. How's that? Amazing reading air sign, crazy good reading. Uh, I'm going to go to the extended now. So if you feel like you want to know more about this story, I'm going to look at the messages from the spirit, the universe, your spiritual team of advisors, whatever. I'm going to look at that, a look at a message from this person to you. Uh, actually, no, a message from you to this person, because I flipped the energies around, and from this person to you. Yeah, don't let me get that backwards. And then uh, some outcome cards, what, what we might see coming down the pike for this connection. Um, and it may not be just outcome. It may be more advice. for. It may be more about your strengths or your challenges as you move through this next phase. Really nice air sign. So happy to read for you. I hope you follow me to the other side. There's a link below to the other platform. Otherwise, I'll see you on a future reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. See you later. Bye, air sign.